Welcome back to another episode of School Forces Me to Make Super Short Videos. Don't worry though, this video is actually really cool, and you'll definitely want to stick around till the end, cause things get crazy. In the 10th spot, I've decided to nominate the moment when Percy got claimed. It was just an overall cool moment when everyone realized Percy was a son of one of the big three gods. It was also the moment when Percy became one of the demigods the Great Prophecy could be about. Percy fighting the giant statue of Nero in the Hidden Oracle was such a fun moment to read. At the end of the book, a huge statue threatens camp, so Percy shows up with Mrs. O'Leary and helps defeat it, surprising Apollo with his speed and agility. It was honestly just great to see Percy fight to defend Camp Half-Blood again. In the Son of Neptune, while in Alaska to retrieve the Roman Legion standard, Percy, Hazel, and Frank come across the deceased fifth cohort. They attack, and Percy single-handedly fights dozens of legionnaires. Then he stabs a sword into the glacier, collapsing it along with the fifth cohort, allowing Frank and Hazel to continue on their quest. Percy vs. the Minotaur is such an iconic moment in all of Percy Jackson. The Minotaur was only the second monster Percy ever fought, and for him to defeat it at age 12 with zero training or use of his demigod powers is really just impressive. Even though it's not a fight scene or an action moment, when Percy turned down Zeus's offer for immortality, it was just as cool as any other moment. It showed that Percy wasn't greedy or selfish, and that he just wanted to live his life with Annabeth and the rest of his family and friends. Starting off the top 5 is Percy's fight against Ares in The Lightning Thief. The fact that a 12 year old Percy defeated a god is crazy. It was amazing how Percy summoned a massive wave and stabbed Ares in the leg. Not to mention satisfying, since nobody liked Ares. In The Son of Neptune, Percy fighting the giant polyboats deserves the 4th spot. It was really fun to see Percy fight the anti-Poseidon giant and win, even if he needed a little help from Terminus. For number 3, I'm going to put the moment when Percy fought Kronos in The Last Olympian. Although Kronos was still trapped in Luke's body, it's no small feat to fight the King of the Titans. Also, it really showed how much stronger Percy had become from The Lightning Thief. The second coolest Percy Jackson moment has to be when he caused a volcano to erupt. Percy summoned water from inside himself and blasted it outward with such force it caused a volcanic eruption and woke the Titan Typhon. Also, as an added bonus, he flew to Calypso's Island and ended up crashing his own funeral in Camp Half-Blood. By process of elimination, I think you can all guess what I put for number one. Percy choking the goddess Aklis with her own poison. While in Tartarus, Percy and Annabeth confronted Aklis, and in order to protect Annabeth, Percy uses his powers of Poseidon to control Aklis' poison. It really showed Percy's dark side and what he was capable of. It was so shocking and cool, I think it really deserves a number one spot. And that was the top 10 coolest Percy Jackson moments. If you enjoyed, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you all very, very soon with another epic video.